Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest update to Elementor and the new feature that's been added. That's the ability to undo and use the revision history so you can step back at any point through the entire process of creating a page and you can edit and undo anything. Now, this is pretty cool. There's also a pile of keyboard shortcuts that really do speed up the whole process of being able to undo and test things out very quickly and easily all inside the Elementor editor without relying on anything else, no third-party plugins or anything. So let's check all that out right now. So before we kick the video off, I just want to say that if you're considering purchasing a copy of the Pro version of Elementor, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It really helps the channel out, gives a little kickback and allows us to invest more time and effort into creating more and more new content for you. Anyway, without any further ado, let's take a look at this new feature that's been added to Elementor. Now this isn't restricted to the Pro version, this is across the entire Elementor line, so you get access to this no matter what version you're using. So again, I think the fact that we've got this no matter what version is a really cool thing. They're not making us pay to have this great feature. Now to use it is very, very simple. If we come down to the element editor on the left hand side, you can see we've got an icon in the middle now that shows us the history. If we click to open that up, we now have a couple of different options. We've got the actions tab and the revisions tab. The difference between these is the actions are each of the steps that we've undertaken in an editing session. The revisions is every time we've saved the actual page that we're editing. So we want to go back through the major revisions. We can jump back through those by using this option. If we want to go through the different actions we've done, we can use this. You can see each one of the actions tells us exactly what was done. So you can see that this one, for example, is the image box shadow. We've also got the image size in percent. We've added a section content width. We've edited the margin on a section and so on and so forth. So I can easily click on any of these and I can see all the different things that I've done during any of these editing sessions very quickly and very easily. Once I've got to the point where I'm happy, I can hit the save option and that will now take us back and we can carry on working with that. Now if I want to make bigger edits, I can simply come to the revisions tab and I can jump back to these at any point in my entire revision history. So you may end up with a ton of different options available in here. This is a great way of being able to jump back if you made some changes and you don't like what you've done and you don't want to have to go through and undo each step and so on. So this is really, really cool. And like I say, across the entire board, whether you've got the free version or the pro version, you have access to this feature. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to get their hands dirty and start using keyboard shortcuts to speed up the entire process of working, well, the Elemental guys have given us that option as well. So let's just say, for example, we want to duplicate this particular photograph. We can just simply select it, press Control and D on the keyboard. We immediately get a duplicate. If I don't want that, I can press Control or Command Z on the keyboard and undo it. So we've got a whole ton of different keyboard shortcuts that just make the whole process so quick and so easy. Link that in with the revision history and the undo states and you really have a fantastic platform for creating great looking websites very quickly and easily. I think the guys over at Elementor are really paying attention to what makes a great platform for web developers and web designers as well as people that just want to create great looking websites with minimal effort. So that's really all there is to this. If you want a list of all the keyboard shortcuts and more information or to download a copy of Elementor or Elementor Pro, all the applicable links are in the description below. So go and click on those, follow on through and grab yourself a copy of Elementor or Elementor Pro. Remember, if you do go for the Pro version, please click on the affiliate link in the description below to help the channel out. Well, that's all there is to it. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, pop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every week. And until next time, take care.